Welcome. We do this monthly. Generally, the first hour we try to dedicate to songs that kids come in having prepared. Prep something. Bring something to us and come up on stage with your instrument. Difficulty that gets a ten. Now, friends are knocking upon the door, someone putting on a shirt that I picked up off the floor. Picking no pair of socks, I don't care anymore. They asking me if I'm ready, I'm telling them, yeah, sure. Walking to the party with my shirt and tucked, and my hair on and my teeth on brush. Somebody says, I just gotta text shoes coming, and I'm picking them myself. Oh, I could use the one. So today he plays tenor. That's fantastic. What am I going to say to Dominic? The ending. Dominic. Right. Just let the guys know. Right? Eye contact. You can turning 14 in September. Gold on your fingertips. Fingertips against my cheek. You should be stronger. to me so I'm asking Emmett to come up and I want you to put on your bass so we're just gonna try a little bit with like a more of a full band. And what were you doing that was a problem? Looking back and forth. Right. So what can you do about that? Uh, okay so you can cheat. Alright you can cheat a little bit more. You should be stronger than me. Just take time and hold through my coffee break time. I sail in prayer for you forever and ever. You stay in my heart, and I will love you. It's really beautiful. I question the key choice. Yeah. Right. When you have a letter and then a slash and another letter underneath it. The letter underneath it is the bass note. Okay, so if you're playing a chordal instrument, you don't have to worry about that. If you have a bass player on stage, the bass player will play it. Unless you're, for example, a piano player, in which case you can play the bass note too.